hello everyone thank you for clicking on my channel in this video we are going to have a look on how to implement machine learning algorithm in five easy step uh, on any kind of a data set you can use your own data set for the sake of this video i have downloaded this data set from the kaggle this data set contains uh, and looks like this. This data set has a one out outcome attributes that contains the loan status. Either the loan applicant application has been approved or rejected based on these input attributes. As we can see, this data set contains the um, uh, columns in the string values, and then there are certain kind of um, missing values, and there are certain kind of uh, the, in, in this column the uh, property area the uh, string values are divided into three categories. So like we have a lots of Thing that has to be fixed in this data set so uh, this uh, coding is divided into the five uh, parts in the step number one that's the most easiest part is the um, is importing the libraries uh, and then in the step number two we are going to analyze the data set using the very simple commands in the step number three we are going to see the uh, we are going to pre-process the data set as we have just discussed that like there are certain kind of a missing values the values are in the string that needs to be transformed into the numeric or the binary form and then uh, uh, data set needs to be uh, prefixed for uh, to implement machine learning algorithms in the fourth step we are going to see the graphical uh, representation be uh, between the uh, relationship between the input attributes and the output attributes and then the, finally we are going to implement the machine learning algorithms uh, uh, today we are going to implement four different classification algorithm that includes support vector machine uh, random forest uh, decision tree and uh, logistic regressions so these are the classification algorithms that we are going to implement in our data set for to save the time i have already written all this coding and we are going to just discuss it and i'm going to give this coding in the uh, comment section and i'm going to give you the uh, uh, i think the link of the uh, this coding as well where i have posted this coding okay in the the step number one is to import the libraries these are the very basic libraries that you have to import in order to analyze the data set second step you have to import the data set just give the command where the uh, with the df as uh, so pd dot read underscore csv and give the path of your csv file uh, in the line number 11 i have used the com uh, command of a head and then we have the describe info and shape so these are the very basic command that is going to give you the overview of the data set in the line number 15 i have given the command of the is null i'm going to from this command i'm checking is there any kind of a null value in the data set and uh, in the line number 16 i'm gaining i'm getting the information related to these columns of the data set and in the line number 17 i am i'm checking if there any kind of a uh, unique property related to the property area or column of the data set as we have just seen that the property area contains three and different um, uh, three different strings uh, rural urban semi urban uh, while the other strings uh, contains only uh, two types yes or no male and female graduate or non graduate and again yes and no okay and then we are counting the value of the gender oh, and that's a very common thing and i'm also giving the command drop na that is good excluding or like you know um, uh, null values from the data set and then i'm getting the information related to the data new data set after removing a uh, certain kind of a null values okay once the data set has uh, been analyzed csv file has been analyzed now it's time to pre-process the data set it, it, it means that like make your data set ready for the uh, machine learning algorithm implementation so the first thing i have done is that like um, uh, i have replaced all the null values with the one in the dependent column so we again we can just check what were the dependent column the dependent column contains 0 1 2 3 values so if there are any kind of a missing entries or the missing uh, cell or the empty cell in the data uh, in this uh, column then it will be replaced with the one and place equals to true this is uh, the command that will replace the uh, null value or the empty cell into the one in the second step what i have done 
is that like the loan amounts as we can check that like loan amount obviously loan amount may also contain oh, the first entry of the loan amount is the missing so like i cannot replace this uh, missing entry with the one as we can see that the values are very random here so what i have done is that i have taken the mean of the whole column and then i'm going to uh, replace the empty cell with the mean of the column uh, so for this purpose I have, uh, where is I? yes, I have uh, taken the mean of the loan amount and then it will be replaced with the um, null values or the empty cell. Okay, and then we have the value mapping. I have, it means that like yes will be transformed into the one and no will be transformed into the zero. And I have created one more um, um, column instead of a, mer uh -huh, like that is the duplication of the married uh, column as we can see there is a column called the married column and it can it contains a yes and no so these uh, yes and no will be replaced with the one and zero uh, one and zero in the new column called the married section uh, the same thing has been done with the gender section because the gender has been uh, classified as a male and female in this section so it has to be replaced with the one and zero uh, so I have created one more column called the gender section and it is the duplication of the gender column and it will replace the value of a male with a 1 and the female with a 0. Okay, the same thing has been done for the education section. Education, we can see in the uh, data set education has a two um, string type, uh, uh, education column contains two types of the string. Number one is the graduate, second one is the not graduate. So not graduate is going to be replaced by the zero and the uh, graduate is going to be replaced by the one. Uh, the same thing has been done for the value uh, for the employed section as we can see that like the column contain the self employed either it can be yes or no so this column uh, as a one uh, like there this is what we have done is that like uh, we have duplicated this column and the values has been replaced for the one and zero instead of a yes and no so the four new columns has been created these are the four new columns and if there any kind of a missing value in the four new column that will be replaced with the mean of that column so this is a very simple step. So we have pre-processed our data. Now everything is uh, fit. Now uh, in the step number four, what I, we have done, uh, what I've done is that like uh, I have taken the plot. Uh, so first plot I have taken is the scatter plot. That's uh, that like this going to uh, show us the relationship between the loan status, that is the outcome, loan amount and the gender section. You can replace uh, the column names or uh, like you can put the columns of your desired outcome so uh, the first plot is the scatter plot second plot i have also taken the scatter plot because i want to see the relationship between this con uh, these attributes and the third plot is uh, i think yeah histogram that is between loan amount uh, loan amount taken by the customer okay and then it's uh, like a uh, count and then we have the box plot uh, and uh, we ha also have a box plot and then we have the histogram again. So we have total seven graphs. Histo uh, a histogram that is uh, showing the relationship between the self-employment and the education. And then we, uh, this is of something very interesting. This is the called the co uh, correlation matrix. That's, uh, that is going to show us the uh, relationship between the input uh, attributes. So in the columns, I have taken all the input attributes and like the uh, the graph will show by using this command, the graph will show the uh, uh, relationship or link between these input attributes. Okay. Okay. And uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is that Okay, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to run the program so that like we can have a, a look into the uh, graph that we have just, uh, uh, we will just obtain. Okay, this is the first graph that uh, uh, we have already discussed. It's the scatter plot between these uh, input attributes, loan status, loan amount and the gender section. 
and second plot was also the scatter plot again showing the applicant income co-applicant income and you can change the column name according to your requirement and then we have the histogram uh, showing the loan figures okay between the counts and then we have the property area and gender section uh, uh relationship uh, showing in the box form again this is the box plot we have taken and then this is the histogram i think it was between the education and the self-employment okay and then we have the correlation vectors that's very interesting it's showing the relationship between all the input attributes now we have done the we have taken the um, graphical representation now it's time to implement machine learning algorithm okay uh, for the okay machine learning algorithm to implement the machine learning algorithm first thing you need to do is that like you have to install sklearn which is very important and then uh, first uh, algorithm we are going to implement is the logistic regression this is the classification algorithm in which we are going to see uh, that like uh, the data uh, the outcome has been classified as a yes outcome under no outcome and like is it going to correctly train the model and test the model we have to see the scores related to this so from sklearn i have imported logistic regression and i have given the model name as a, a logistic regression very simple step in the next step i have defined the input and the output so these are the inputs i have taken almost all the columns values in the as the input which were given in our data set except this last column which was our output so in the output which is equivalent to the y uh, i have given x as, a, as the input and uh, y as the output which is the default setting i have taken loan status and an output so now our input and output has been has already been defined this thing has been done okay and then we have to import the one more library from the sklearn that's called train test split because i want to train my uh, data set 70 percent as a training and 30 percent we are going to implement as a uh, we are going to test the um, um, algorithm right uh, so uh, training and testing has been splitted into 70 percent and 30 percent test size equals to 0 0.3 it means our data will be trained for the oh sorry test for the 30 percent testing will be done on the 30 percent of the data set so model dot fit i am training the model in this line and then uh, train uh, we are calculating the accuracy we are uh, like ob uh, obtaining accuracy of the training model and testing model uh, testing accuracy so we are go going to uh, get our score related to the uh, score of the training accuracy and testing accuracy expected and predicted uh, we have defined what is was expected expected uh, we know what like um, that test was expected and predicted what the model has predicted okay and then i have uh, imported the metrics from the again from the scale and classification report print metric confusion predicted and expected okay so let's check what our linear regression outcome uh, looks like okay the uh, first thing what we did was uh, training accuracy and testing accuracy so training accuracy for this linear regression model is 80 percent and testing accuracy was 83 percent which is a great result okay we have we know that like total no because I, as we can see that the column contains either yes or no so and uh, if you remember we did not change uh, this string into the uh, uh, into the binary or the numeric value so we let it remain as a yes and no so the total no for this uh, column was 51 and out of 51 we have again 27 per uh, 27 no as a right no and 24 one no was uh, predicted as a wrong no so and then our yes was total 134 out of 134 we have gained 131 as a yes a right yes and three yes was a wrong yes so like this is the score we have gained in the similar way using the same commands similar commands except that like instead of a uh, importing a uh, linear regression you have to import the svc that's called the support vector machine i have implemented the support vector machine decision class uh, decision tree and the random forest same step by following the same step so let's have a, a look at the support vector machine from sklearn.svm we have imported the svc and i have given the model name as a svc we have to train the model by using the fit command as we just did it in the 
in this uh, section model dot fit so like give the name of the model and then fit the model use the dot fit command to train the model and uh, if you want to get, uh, see the score of the testing and training training and testing use these command and dot score dot score uh, for training and testing okay and then take the printout of these uh, scores and then we uh, again have we have imported the matrix we have just imported matrix and like it's going to um, print the report of the between the expected and predicted as we did it in the, for the uh, rent a logistic regression so let's check the uh, okay this is the same thing 67 percent was the training accuracy 72 percent was the testing accuracy which is not bad out of 51 we have got 27 right and 24 wrong and out of 131 134 we have got 131 right and th three as a wrong yes okay then finally not not the finally then after that we have the random forest and like uh, same thing exactly the same proce procedure instead of uh, importing svc we have to in this time we have to import random forest classifier and uh, we have given the name a model name as a random forest classifier model dot fit for to train the model and then we are again uh, obtaining the uh, accurate uh, accuracy score for training and testing okay then again the same thing expected is this predicted is this and then we have to generate the report of the confusion matrix so this is the report of the confusion matrix of the random forest which we in which we are getting 26 uh, uh, sorry, where is this yes 26 and 25 and 124 out of 134 was been corrected uh, was been uh, predicted accurately so this is how we uh, in, okay finally we have the decision tree classifier here so this is how, how we implement the machine learning algorithms and any kind of a data set uh, thank you for watching my, my video i'll see you in the next video take care bye